In today's video, I'm going to show you exactly what you can automate for your law firm using Zapier. And uh, let me just give a warning. This is a little bit more advanced. Don't usually put out in public. However, I've been able to put together a most intricate advanced way to be able to use Zapier to automate your law firm. The top five ways to be able to do that. All right. So uh, this is just a little glimpse of our program where our students be able to, to talk to us, come, uh, ask us questions, and then get a lot of support and a lot of help that helps them grow and scale their law firm. All right. First of all, again, if you haven't subscribed yet, take a moment to subscribe now. And if you do get value from this video, I would really appreciate it if you liked the video. All right, let's go to the clip. You know, my drawing is like, where do I need to put all the zaps? Um, so that then I can, I'm just going to have my VA actually do the setup for that. Um, and then I spend a lot of time this um, week really outlining like every single step that I need to take for any given, um, for like my, for my estate planning clients, um, what, you know, every single thing and then who should, who really should be in charge of doing it, whether it should be automated or VA or me. Um, so I, that's kind of where I've spent my time this week. Perfect. And learning how to work with the VAs because they started this week. So wonderful. Wonderful. Great. Uh, for anybody who is thinking about this, I need Zapier. Again, watch those two videos. And again, I thought about like, should I add this into the program? I decided not to for the sake of not overwhelming people and just giving people like the most important stuff, make sure you at least get that. And then later on, you guys can come back to me. Hey, can you help me with this? And then I'll be able to kind of give you the advanced stuff. But for those who do want the advanced stuff, I just put into the chat, the Zapier playbook. Again, please don't get overwhelmed by this. Please only if you need it. I'm gonna just share it what it looks like, what it is. And you want to bookmark this uh, if you do want to use it because I'm, I'm updating it. The instructions are here. Watch this after training here. Actually, it seems like, no, oh, actually, yeah. You do want to make a copy. There's a reason. Um, and here's the reason why. Um, so this is kind of like the different scenarios for law firms. So I basically figure out the top five scenarios for lawyers. When a new lead comes in, a new client signs up, when a, how to also send status updates to clients or to request documents from clients in an automated way. Again, this is advanced. Please don't go wrong with this. But also reminding payment, uh, reminding clients about signing payments. So you don't have to manually do that. There's, there's a way to be able to automate that. And this one, asking for reviews, either this method or the method that I teach in Legal Funnel uh, Mastery. It's in Module 6. And um, kind of the way that it works is the trigger. Trigger is kind of for you where, where let's say a new client signs up. So for example, I'll give you some exam examples of the, when a new retainer agreement is signed in your email signature tool, such as DocuSign, Adobe Sign, HelloSign, et cetera, or if a payment comes in from Stripe, PayPal, or LawPay, et cetera. So what you want to do is make a copy for yourself and just bold the ones that's relevant for you. Let's say when a new retainer agreement is signed with DocuSign. And then you look at the actions. Well, I need to update my um, clients manager. Keep track of the clients, for example, i.e. Google Sheets, Monday, HubSpot, or any other, or any other CRM. That's the first thing I want it to be done. Also, I want to notify my team member in Slack or text them. Or you can also create a client folder in Google Drive and upload the do documents there or create a PDF or any form filing new documents. So to just say, I want this to be done. I'm going to bold this one. I wanted to also notify my people in Slack. Great. And I want this to be done. So you're kind of creating out your, your how to, uh, not how to, my, my, what I want. And what you do is 